In this lecture, we will discuss about background sizes, just different sizes of background. You can open your code editor and this is just the preview of the coding. Just from the last class, you can see display in line block, width and height, background image and background position center by center here. So let's just uh, apply the property. This is called background sizes. background sizes so background size you can just say a cover control s to save go to your web page and refresh so let's just make them smaller just for better understanding and this one also here i'm just making this just bigger than here so here i'm just going to remove the background cover you can just focus here Control x you can focus on this image so before that i'm just going to uh, change the border for this from two pixel to just five pixel of red border and now i'm just going to Control x this and you can focus on the image Control x so now background size is nothing it means it is null so as you can see the image is zoomed in so you can see when i'm going to apply the cover so the background uh, background size cover will try to cover as much area as possible for example we have used just 300 by 300 pixel width and height so after that when we are using background size in cover it will try to cover just more area as much area as possible so you can just by removing this attribute or cover attribute you can just focus that the image is zooming in just cut this you can see now we can we have just a less image just uh, from here till here and now just after applying cover you can see we have just uh, it's just trying to cover a more area so after cover we have content that you can just apply here now you can see the image is just repeated and i'm just going to remove background repeat it dash repeat and you can just say no repeat save and here so background position uh, background size content will cover the full image now you can see we can see this body in the left corner and these ladies on the right corner and if we just add here instead of content cover so you can see we cannot see the lady on the right corner that is why uh, the background size cover will not cover the full size image it will cover as much area as possible but if you are using here content it will cover the full image you can see here on the left side this uh, uh, just gentleman and here you can see the ladies on the right corner so like this you can just use background size we have two value for this uh, cover and content but you can just use here in percent for example you want in 30 percent of background size so it is just 30 percent you can just increase or decrease 50 percent 80% 19% or you can say 100% or you can say 99% just like this 95% as many percent you want you can use here also you can give in percentage for example 200 pixel you want the background size you can say 250 pixel or you can say just the total 300 pixel you can see it is fixed or you can say just 100 pixel or just smaller than this so like this you can just play with the background size properties and values for background size we have two values like contain and core and also you can use them in pixel and you can say percentage or also you can just use in centimeter as you want just for example uh, six centimeter so you can see this just six centimeter Eight centimeter it is just larger than that or you can say just two centimeter just a small size or you can say four centimeter or you can say just two em 
or you can say just uh, 10 em just like this you can use them in pixel and centimeter in emphasis size and uh, just cover you can assign uh, content everything it is just up to you so if you uh, practice let me just set this on content if you practice more so 100 percent you will learn more so just uh, try to uh, give more time on practicing uh, to this course css3 try to uh, just give patience just on working to css3 so this can make you more perfect so i hope you are understand i'm not going to take your time anymore for this lecture so have a nice time and see you in the next class